you ever taken a photo and felt like the camera just didn't capture what you saw? Maybe the lighting was a little too dark, or maybe the colors weren't as rich and vibrant as you remember them being in real life. Not to worry, when this happens, you can use Adobe Photoshop Lightroom to make adjustments to your photographs in post-processing. Color is important because it can help you to shape the story that you want to tell with your photograph. For example, color can help focus the viewer's attention on the subject if it's more colorful than the background. You can also set the mood for the scene. For example, warmer colors can make us feel happy and cooler colors can make us feel sad. Colors can also stir our emotion. Bright colors can create energy while muted colors can be calming. Often color correction and color grading are thought to be the same thing. However, they are not. Color correction is the process of making your image appear accurate and true to the original C. Color grading, on the other hand, is the process of adding creative color effects to a photo with the goal of adding or altering colors in order to help create a specific look, feeling, or mood in an image. When color grading, we don't have to accurately represent a scene. Instead, we can use color to help reinforce the story or the message that we're trying to communicate. Lightroom has several tools that we can use to color grade images. Two of my favorites are Color Mixer and Color Grading. With the adjustment menu set to color, we can choose from any of the eight color ranges and then adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance. To place the emphasis on the wild mushrooms and not on the bright green leaves, I'll start by selecting the green color range and shift the hue slightly towards yellow. I'll decrease the saturation as well as the luminance. Then I'll decrease the saturation of the aquas as well as the blues. To add warmth to the shadows and midtones, I'll use color gray. Here we can use the three color wheels to add color to the shadows, midtones, and highlights in an image. Once I've selected a color, I can refine the saturation using the circle within the wheel or drag the circle on the edge to refine the hue. I'll add reds to the shadows and then oranges to the midtones. We can also add color to the highlights, but I'm not gonna do that in this image because I think the white highlights make the photograph more believable. When I toggle between the original and the color graded image, we can see that the adjustments have really changed the look and feel of the image. Once you've created a look that you like, you can save that as a preset in order to speed up your workflow. I'll click the plus icon, give the preset a name, and then check only the color mixer and color grading option. Then when I find another image that I want to apply that mood to, I can simply select the preset. One of the best ways to learn about color grading is to look at other presets. For example, when rolling over a premium preset, you can see what changes were made in the color mixer and color grading panel. Or try the recommended presets. You can even see similar presets by clicking more like this. Be sure to also check out the Discover panel within Lightroom Desktop or Mobile to browse through other people's creations or use the Learn panel for easy to follow tutorials. And have fun and don't be afraid to experiment you can adjust any of the changes that you've made at any time.